is Marcelo David and I'll be doing a, a vlog on the purchasing behavior of customers on products. And the product I'll be talking about is this pair of boots. Um, this pair of boots cost me 130 pounds and as we can see this is a pair of black Timberlands, very classic type of boot. Um, it's nothing new to the fashion world because we've been seeing them since 1973 and so they're nothing new to the fashion world. So my story behind this, uh, from where I come from, Angola, um, we have very warm weather so we don't actually use these types of shoes because they are very rigid, uh, warm and kind of heavy to use it so we kind of opt to use the lighter fabric sneakers on the other hand um, here the streets are always wet and my my sneakers my normal sneakers didn't have enough grip to to hold me on the street so i i felt like i was, I was going to slip on the streets so that was when i i thought i had a problem and i decided to buy some boots by the time I thought about buying boots, I was already influenced by external influences such as my brother and my own tastes. So my older brother has one pair too um, and that was enough for me to feel the quality in the boots and that helped me choose uh, what type of boot and which brand to purchase. One thing that I didn't thought that it was going to influence me uh, on buying these boots was my own musical tastes. I am a fan of the hip-hop culture and these type of boots uh, represent a very important thing on hip-hop. We can see a lot of famous people using it. We can see Jay-Z, we can see Chris Brown, we can see uh, Kanye West. Everyone wear them. So I went online and I found many types of boots uh, in many colors which made me happy because the handful of designs and colors uh, made it easier for me to be externally influenced. Okay. So I went online and I found many types of boots in many colors which made me happy because I don't like the original uh, ones color. It's like a yellow brownish. Uh, actually, I have them right here. Uh, so we can say that the handful of uh, designers and uh, colors made it easier for me to be externally influenced. The design really catched my attention and I started to get curious and I started to research about how this shoe is produced. Actually here, inside of it, we can see that it's produced with genuine leather, leather and handmade alignments and man-made outsole so we can say that it's a pretty exclusive shoe for a very mainstream brand so yeah uh, and if we're talking about other options uh, we can also say that these boots are very important to people who work on construction fields uh, due to their durability due to the steel toe it's very hard so they kind of use it for everything because this is a very very uh, good shoe and it will take ages to for you to not use